What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you are watching another episode of Raging Nation Mail. This is episode number 55, and we open letters from the Raging Nation, and we're going to start off with this letter from Ryan. And Ryan's got something for me right here, and it looks like it's going to be a letter. And he says, Dear Alex, how's it going, man? I hope you are doing okay because you are my favorite YouTuber ever. Do you ever play your PS3 anymore? I tried to add you. My gamer tag was Lil Dead Man 22, and if you do, will Par play? Will you play Transformers: Re uh, Revenge of the D? <laughs> Co-op campaign with me? It would be awesome if you did, but if not, that's okay. Also, don't be worried if you saw my gamer tag. Uh, also, when do you do toy hunts? I also think those are the best videos because there are things that I like and you have way more to choose from. All your, all to you, my Transformers collection is now at 116, so thanks for getting me started at age 14. Thanks, Ryan. Never mind. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for your letter. And yes, I do have a PS3 and I haven't played with it for a very long time. It's mainly because I've been caught up making all these videos, but I do want to start playing it again. I really enjoy playing PS3, and I do want to start playing um, a Fall of Cybertron. I know you guys have probably finished it nine times by now. I haven't even touched it yet, so yeah, I want to play Fall of Cybertron. And yes, I'm going to start doing toy hunts as soon as the new toys for Age of Extinction come out on May 17th. Expect that video from me, but for now, there's not going to be any toy hunt videos, mainly because there's nothing that I want. All right. So now we have a letter from Andrew. And wow, this is impressive. Okay, let's just read the letter first before I show you the artwork. Hey Alex, my name's Andrew. Big fan of your videos. I really appreciate your updates on Transformers Age of Extinction and your toy hunts and mailboxes and everything. I made a big drawing on the back. Hope you like it. I have a question. What do you expect about Optimus Prime's relation with Cade in Transformers 4? Thank if Thanks if you ever read this and I have a stop motion channel, The Leo Legendary 10. Would be cool if you go check it out. Have a nice day, Andrew. Hey, thanks a lot for your letter, Andrew, and um, uh, your question is, what do I think about Optimus' relation with Cade and Transformers 4? You know what? I think the relation with Cade and Optimus Prime is going to be kind of like Bumblebee's, but not as, um, not as close. I think that um, uh, Optimus Prime feels that he should protect uh, not just the humans, but Cade, because um, Cade brought him, either brought him back to life or Cade has been helping Optimus Prime hide all this time. So essentially, he's helping him survive. So Optimus Prime will feel that he definitely owes this human uh, some protection, definitely, and some sort of a concern for him. But I don't think it'll be the same close relationship that Bumblebee had with Sam. Now let's take a look at the back. The age of the Transformers is over. Transformers Age of Extinction. Now this is cool. Check out this artwork. And what you see here is Optimus Prime in his new mode. You got Grimlock in the background. Optimus Prime, look at that. Look at all that detail on Optimus Prime. Really, really impressive. You got Lockdown in the back, some flames in the back, and here is Bumblebee. Is that Bumblebee? Yes, it's Bumblebee. Drive it off, he's rolling out, and man, I love the detail, especially on the faces. You did a great job, Andrew, and thank you very much for sending this to me. This is impressive. So thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you very much to Ryan as well. And what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna open, we're gonna open this one. Now, I ordered this from, uh, from Plamoya.com. I'm gonna leave you a link in the description box below if you wanna check out their selection of Transformers. But they have some pretty good deals once in a while. I saw this as a pretty good deal. And this completes my collection of the uh, Cybertronian Seekers from Warp or Cybertron, or rather Fall of Cybertron. So, here we go. I love how they package them in these, uh, these protective bubble wrap. So, let's just open this up. And I'm so excited. And look at this. We have a beautiful metallic star scream in from Fall of Cybertron Generations line Takara Japanese version and wow I'm really liking this I love the metallic red metallic blue it's also gray and um, there you have it let me pull out the other ones from my uh, from my from my uh, closet okay 
Yeah, I'm always wearing these pants. I know this, you guys noticing. Okay, well, let me first pull out all this stuff here. Okay. All right, here we go. All righty here. So we have essentially three geographical versions of the Seekers. We have the Canadian version of Thundercracker. And you know it's the Canadian version because the packaging is always a generic Orion Pax packaging. No IDW, uh, um, a comic book. So this is the Canadian packages, packaging. And now we have Skywarp in the US packaging. And this is the US packaging because you know it's got the, uh, you know it's the US packaging because it's got the, uh, of course, the comic book. All right, and so that's Skywarp, and I'm liking the paint job on Skywarp. I had to choose between this and the Takara version. I prefer the, um, the, this version more. And of course, here's the Japanese version of, uh, of, of, of Starscream. So here they are. I got every single one, and they look great. Like, uh, let me just put this here. Let me just hold this a lot better. Here you go, all three. Complete collection. I'm a happy camper. <laughs> I got all three of them, and I really like this mold. Mold. I really like this mold. Uh, I think this is a great, um, uh, uh, um, you know, mold for the Seekers. It's their Cybertronian mode, and the robot mode looks fantastic. And I can't wait to 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 open these guys up. And what I'm gonna do is, well, a lot of you guys have been asking me, well, why don't you open up your stuff? And I'll give you the same answer over and 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 over again. It should be a frequently asked questions. Why don't I open my stuff? Because I have no room. I have no space. That's why they're all in my closet. You think that if I had space, I would actually leave these guys like in the closet? Hell no. So that's why they're always in my closet. And what I plan to do is actually, I'm getting these IKEA Detolf cases. They're perfect, okay? So anybody who has, any kind of um, display, glass display case knows what I'm talking about. These will look fantastic in the display case, out of the box, of course. And I can't wait to open them up. And I really need to display my stuff soon because I'm going crazy. These guys need to breathe. But for the time being, they're going in the, the closet. I have so many toys here. It is ridiculous. Now, I wanted to sh I want to show you guys eventually what I got. But for the time being, I can't really tell you guys what I got, mainly because, well, it's <laughs> you can't really see anything. I don't want to pull anything out. I mean, I mean, there's some stuff you can see. You can see there's an Ed 209 right here, but uh, I don't really want to pull everything out. But it's a mix of stuff. We got Play Arts Kai. We got Revel Tech. We got Masterpieces. We got Deluxe Class. We got NECA toys. We got Pacific Rim figures. There's so much stuff in there that it's just a big mess. All right. So, well, anyways, that's all I got to say in this video. Once again, I appreciate all the letters, uh, Ryan and Andrew. Uh, I really appreciate your support. And if any of you guys want to send me any letters, the PO box is on the description box below. And there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Raging Nation. Check out my photos on Instagram at The Raging Nation. And I'll see you next time. Peace. And what's so special about that? Well, it would be your first time to see Optimus Prime as his Western Star mode in person.